So at two minutes 44, we've got a, a new part in the song that we've not seen before. Uh, I'm going to play this with my slide on my second finger, although Rory, it's a lot easier to play with it on your fourth finger, but it, I can just about do it with it on my second finger because I need the slide for the very last little chord that hits. Um, it does this, here's the part, it starts on a D chord. <laughs> So uh, let me just take my slide off for a second and uh, we'll analyse what's going on here. Here's the part. So we're holding a D power chord, don't worry about the top E string. There's the D, there's the D power chord, second fret on the G, uh, third fret on the B and you'll concentrate on the, the D, G and B strings. And you're bouncing from with this whole chord sequence, you're bouncing from this B3, the, th the third fret on the B string. So my second, my second finger is going down to the third fret of the A string. So you can see it descends. That's the second fret of the A string. That's a straight A power chord, just uh, the A string, D string, and G string. And you've got a passing tone there, which is a, a G note, uh, E3. And then we'll do a little ad lib there on the slide. But basically, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but you've got to bounce from this, the, 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 this D note. So uh, the reason I was wearing the slide uh, is because when we hit that last G power chord, which I did just there, it's nice to do, as he does on the track, he's overdubbed the slide to do a G triad. At the top there, that's the 12th fret on the D, the G uh, and the B string. So, and also it's, it's cool to, you can just about, if you do wear it on your second finger, um, you know, it's, it's a lot harder to play this, but you can, I can just about get a little ad lib as he is doing in between each, uh, each chord sequence. So, in this sort of way. Etc. Back into the to the riff. Um, so you've got the component parts to the song now. Um, there are a lot of other slide ideas in there, um, but if you can, if we can, if you can really concentrate on that first main solo, um, you pretty much you'll be on top of the, the the soloing. It's just a case of a case of following the, the pentatonic. You've got to follow that A minor pentatonic. There is a lovely, uh, there is a lovely lick he does towards the end of the song, um, and it's a really good idea because he really ekes it out. It's this lick, he does this a lot. Which is that, that idea where we cross those two notes with an angle. This is the 20th fret on the B and the 21st fret on the G. All the time we've got the riff Chundering Ray. So uh, you've really got to concentrate on the on the slide thing. Don't 
um, when Roy played this, every time he played this, there's, there's, there's lots of footage on the internet. Every time he played it, he played it completely different. The slide isn't set in stone. But um, I've shown you the main uh, solo, and if you can get that off, then, then you can start thinking about your own ideas. Just really, really concentrate on seeing the pentatonic and being accurate with the vib and the pitch of the note. Which if I played that phrase without the slide, it would be this. So you've got the component parts of the song, it's a great song, and Rory Gallagher was the master.